there is an essence of it within every individual and every organization. If you find yourself as the sole entity in a particular situation, it's your responsibility to determine how to handle it, as it cannot simply be eradicated. For years, I utilized it as a source of motivation because there's immense power in being the only one. It compels you to tap into your own resources and maintain self-belief in the face of unjust scrutiny. The heightened challenge makes every success even more gratifying. That's why I consistently placed myself in situations where I knew I would encounter it. I thrived on being the sole presence in a room, confronting challenges head-on and witnessing my excellence unsettle narrow minds. I didn't merely sit back and lament being alone, I took action. I refused to be deterred by prejudice, using it as fuel to break down barriers. However, relying solely on this confrontational approach had its drawbacks. I inadvertently cultivated unnecessary adversaries along the way, limiting my opportunities, particularly in my pursuit of top SEAL teams. With my career at a crossroads, I couldn't afford to dwell on past mistakes. I needed to find higher ground and turn the negativity I had encountered into a positive force. I didn't settle for land warfare duty, I sought to transcend it. What shapes a person is starting with the small building blocks. Before you know it, you become something that may not even make sense to most people because it's just who you are now. That's why, at 50, I can still run despite having knees and a body that's seen better days. My body knows I can still do it, so I do. The moment you stop, the willpower dissipates. And that's a beautiful thing. I'm grateful you brought that up because I've always pondered about this separation. At 24, I began building something that I didn't foresee would be what it is now at 49. It was just that everything was going smoothly in my life. My career was flourishing, I made a name for myself in the sports world, and I had plans to return to the battlefield as a Navy SEAL should. But sometimes, even when you're doing everything right, life throws storms your way, multiplying chaos without warning. When, not if, that happens, there's often nothing you can do to prevent it. If you're lucky, the issues or injuries are relatively minor. In those instances, it's up to you to adapt and persevere. If you get injured or encounter complications that prevent you from pursuing your primary passion, redirect your energy elsewhere. We tend to excel in activities that we enjoy, so it's an opportune time to focus on areas that could use improvement. For instance, if you're an excellent runner with a knee injury that sidelines you for 12 weeks, consider taking up yoga to enhance flexibility and overall strength, which will benefit you as an athlete in the long run. Similarly, if you're a guitarist with a broken hand, use your functioning hand to explore piano playing and broaden your musical skills. The key is not allowing setbacks to derail our focus or detours to dictate our mindset. Stay adaptable, recalibrate when necessary, and persist in becoming better in some way.